Okay, everybody, welcome back. It's Tony from National RV. Inside my showroom, I have this classy Jayco Redhawk on the Chevy chassis, which you normally don't see. You usually see the Ford chassis. This one's gonna be coming in just under $100,000. One of my best deals for Class C motorhomes. So this is like the smallest one you can get in a Class C. So 22 foot, two year everything warranty inside, three year structural warranty, your roof, floor, sidewalls, is all good for three years. Let's check out the inside. So motorhomes are nice, you kind of just jump in and go. You don't have to pull anything behind uh, behind you unless you want to pull an additional trailer or maybe a boat or some, some people will actually pull a car behind them as well, depending on where you're going or if you're just traveling full time. Just designed for two people, but more people could come. You have your dinette here. This has four seat belts in it total. And then this is a big queen size bed up here. Sorry about all the plastic. This is how it comes from the factory. I wanted to make this video for you guys. So this uh, part right here flips down and makes it into a big queen size bed. And this holds 750 pounds. So most other class C's aren't gonna hold that much in the cab area. And we'll talk about that in a second from the outside, but Jago does that one piece fiberglass front cap that I will show you just in a couple minutes here. But look at the inside of this, nice, easy layout. Battery disconnect switch down here. All your switches are down here. Then all your main controls are gonna be right here. You even have tank heaters on this one. So 12 volt heaters on your tanks to keep you from freezing up or if you want to camp, or, uh, camp in the colder elements, you definitely could in this one. It has a generator on board. You can also start that from the inside here, prime it and start it, or you can do that from the outside. And I'll show you that as well, uh, just in a couple minutes here. Stainless steel split sink in this one, it looks like. Two burner stove top. This is gonna be propane. And then you have a convection microwave as well. Very nice. This looks like it is the six cubic foot gas or electric refrigerator and freezer. Look at that, it's nice and cold right now. I like how they got the raised panels on here too to match all the cabinetry. So it doesn't look just so plain like some other RV fridges. Your bedroom in the back, back here. You have two blue reading lights up above, windows on each side, nice headboard uh, behind you there. Comforter does come with it, pillows come with it. You have fast chargers, uh, stations on each side of your bed with the ledge so you can put a CPAP machine, charge your phones, hang out. Nice big exit window back there. And then you can actually mount a TV on the wall back here as well just for your main bedroom. And then you get a skylight in your bedroom too. And then you have a curtain to block off your bedroom. This one being a small unit, it's hard to add a door, but look at the storage in here. Huge amount of storage. This is amazing. For a 22 foot, nice pull out drawers. There's an outlet down there. This is a cover, by the way, that covers up your cab area up front. So when you are camping, you don't have everyone looking through your coach. More storage here. I guess you can use this as your pantry here. Wow, normally you don't get this much in a motorhome. And this being a smaller motorhome at that. And then, yeah, this makes out to a bed if you want extra sleeping. Nice big window over here. And then cabinets above as well. All nice real wood cabinetry. Let's check out the bathroom. So even when your slide out is in, because this is the only slide out in this coach, uh, is on your uh, bed right here. So even with that all the way in, you can still access your bathroom, which is pretty important if you're on the road, if you're on the go. Oh, you can get a nice one here. Look at that. It's a nice size bathroom. Stainless steel sink still in the bathroom. Got your stand-up shower. Mm. I like that. Easy and simple. If it's a regular curtain, sometimes they get stuck to you. Oh, look at this. They even give you this pole that comes with it. So you can actually use this as an additional closet if you wish. Very nice. Let's see. Storage in here. Soap holder. Yep. Soap holder. And some storage underneath this thing as well. Toilet's in a good spot. And then, oh yeah, you get your little mini fan in here. You gotta fume everything out, of course. HD antennas on board. You got your swivel insignia TV over here. I'm sorry, your insignia smart TV that's on a swivel mount, I should say. Yeah, this just swivels over and then it hooks up against the wall for when you're traveling. Pretty nice. 
Looks like you got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay all built into the Sony touchscreen radio as well. And one cool thing about the Chevy is, if you didn't know this, you actually get a lot more room in the cab area than you would in one of the Ford chassis. In the Ford chassis, it takes up a lot of your leg space on the passenger side. This one, you'll be a lot more comfy in here. Just so you know. Let's check out some things on the outside. Nice big power awning with that white LED light that goes all the way down. This is going to be your propane station here. So you have propane all on board. Outside speakers. You have one there, one down there. Your furnace vent, your hot water tank vent, your fridge vent. And you have the 225, 75, 16 tires on here, the heavy ply uh, general tires, the general, general grapplers, I should say. And then right here, you get some storage or also you can actually bring a TV outside and set it right here. And you have a, a cable and a 110 outlet right there. Pretty neat. And you also have a solar prep. So if you want to add a solar panel, it's all behind there. Another storage compartment. I like how this is all bordered off. It's all hard metal. Very nice. And you ask, actually get a backup camera on this one as well. So if you see that right up there, when you put it in reverse, it automatically uh, pops on just like your vehicle that you're driving now does. Well, your new vehicles anyways. Power step. I don't know if you mentioned that before. Can switch off. Power step on. Here we go. So when you shut your screen door, it comes in with it. And this is all, you have a screen door, obviously, so no bugs or anything gets in or out. Well, in. Hopefully they ain't coming out. And then, like I was mentioning in the beginning of the video, so Jayco spends a lot of extra time, money, and effort on making sure your coach is going to last forever. So they do a one-piece fiberglass front cap. And cool thing about that is when they're doing the aluminum structured frame for the rest of your coach, it actually goes into the cab area here. So all behind here is all uh, structured aluminum. It's all welded together. Most other Class Cs are not going to have that. I don't think any of them are going to have that besides a Jayco. So that adds a lot more uh, strength to it. That's one of the uh, weakest points to a unit. And Jayco wanted to go the extra step. And uh, make sure you're protected there and you're safe. And also safe from water. That's going to be one of the first spots that water will come in. And usually on any other Class C, if you look at any other Class C, if you're shopping for one, there's always going to be a seam right there that you really, really have to maintenance a lot and maintain and make sure nothing's going on because that would be the first spot that water would come into this coach. And Jayco tries to make sure that's never gonna happen for you. Got the Chevy front end. Here goes your generator right here. Oh, this door's locked, I'm sorry. This is a 4,000, yep, 4,000 watt Onan Cummins generator. Works off of your fuel, so when you add your fuel in there, it also feeds for the generator. There is a safety to shut off. Once you get to a quarter tank or less, the generator will automatically shut off so it doesn't run you completely out of gas and leave you stranded. So good job, Jayco, for putting that on there. So if it shuts off, you know you need gas. And you have a little storage compartment here. Once again, that's metal like the other side. Another little compartment here. You have an outside shower if you want to shower with nature. Hot and cold water with the nozzle that comes out. You have a black tank flush and your city water connection. So your city water connection is going to be your full hookup site. So if you're hooked up at the campground, you can actually leave a water hose connected and have continuous water. And then your black tank flush, uh, kind of as it seems, uh, it flushes out your black tank. So there's a swivel when you hook a water hose up to it. When you're emptying your tank, which is right over here, I'll get to that in one second. When you're emptying your tank, after you empty your tank, you hook the water hose up, screw it on here. And then you flush your tank out and make sure it gets all that leftover debris out of there, get anything hooked up on your sensors. And then here goes your power cord storage. So your uh, power cord will actually run through this little hole here. So that way you can close your door so your door doesn't have to stay open. This is just in our showroom, so we have it open for you to demonstrate and see. Uh, and this looks like the end for the cable, and there's another 110 outlet back here as well. And wow, look at this one. So this one's pretty big. Nice big storage compartment here. All your um, water fillings. Oh, got it. So you do your water fill and your city water connection all from the same um, plug in there. So you just gotta turn these valves right here and it tells you exactly which way you have to have it. If you wanna fill your tank or just use water continuously. And then here's your low point drains as well. 
So if there is water left over in your tanks, those will be the lowest points where you can empty out your tank if you're going to winterize the unit. And then down here is going to be your valves for your uh, gray and black tank. So emptying your camper out, you just pull these valves here. Gray will be your uh, sinks in your shower and black is just your toilet. If you did not know that. And of course you get your rear ladder on here to make sure you get up on your roof every uh, couple months, just inspecting everything, making sure everything's going good. And if it needs to be resealed, you'll go ahead and reseal it as well. You want this thing to last a lifetime and you gotta maintenance it. Same with oil changes and tune-ups. Gotta make sure that's all taken care of. Well, hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions, anything that you guys, um, any questions you have on this model or other ones, you can comment below. Let me know what you got. Let me know what you like and see. Let me know what you don't like. And if you haven't already, go ahead and shoot us a follow, a like, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And we'll see you in the future. Thank you guys so much.